is miracle worker. Acts chapter 4 verses 29 and 30. And now, Lord, look on their threats and grant to your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word by stretching out your hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done to the name of your holy servant, Jesus. This is what the early church prayed, what disciples in the early church prayed. The Lord Jesus had ascended into heaven and the Holy Spirit had been poured out. And here the church of Jerusalem was growing. People were coming to faith in Jesus. And they believed in this living Jesus as miracle worker. You look closely at what they prayed. They said, Lord, we want you to stretch out your hand to heal. And that signs and wonders, what we would refer to as miracles, supernatural things, signs and wonders be done in the name of your servant, Jesus Christ. So signs point us to the Lord, wonders cause us to stand in amazement at the works of God. Signs and wonders, miracles take place in the name of Jesus. So not only is Jesus Christ healer and deliverer, but he's also a miracle worker. That means in his name, things can change in our lives. Our circumstances, our situations can change. And you see Jesus working different kinds of miracles. Some of them are recorded for us in the Gospels. He turned water into wine. He multiplied five loaves and fish, and he fed a multitude. He calmed the storm, the waves. He caused, he caused Peter to catch a, a, a huge load of fish when Peter had, was un, had caught nothing the entire night, he caused a miracle coin, a coin to appear in the mouth of a fish so that taxes could be paid. He did many, many wonders, signs, and miracles to meet the needs of people and let people know that God is interested in their daily lives, in their daily situations. And Jesus Christ has not changed. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And even today, He works signs and wonders. He works miracles in our lives. And that's what the early disciples prayed. They said, Lord, stretch out your hand so that healing, signs, and wonders will take place in the name of Jesus. And that's who Jesus is. He's a miracle worker. He's the one who works miracles in your life and mine in our circumstances, in our situations, we can expect the miracles of the Lord to take place. So what are the things, what are areas in your lives, in your life that you wanna see the miracle work of God? Believe in the Lord Jesus and ask Him, Lord, stretch out your hand to God and grant this miracle in my life. It could be the turning around of a financial situation. It could be the turning around of, of loved ones from sin and darkness and setting them free and bringing them into the kingdom of God. It could be the resolution of a complex situation, a complex problem in your workplace or in, in, in relationships. So whatever it is where you want to see God's miracle working power, believe. Let's believe together as we pray because Jesus Christ is still miracle worker. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I pray for everyone listening to me. I pray that miracles be released into their life situations and life circumstances, God. Let miracles take place in their bodies so that incurable diseases will be healed right now. And God, let miracles take place so that health is perfectly restored that their mind is restored, that their emotions are made whole, that finances are touched and miracles take place in their finances, in their relationships, in things at home, in things in their workplace, that miracles take place, oh God, and let them know that you are God. And release this for them in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.